Hello, my beautiful darling cancer babies. I hope everybody is safe, happy, healthy, and doing well. For those of you new to the channel, my name is Gina. Um, I do have a Leo and Virgo only channel, and then I've got my main channel, Tarot of Light. All those links are below. Um, please be sure to like, share, comment, subscribe, click that notification bell so you know when my readings post and when the winners are announced. I do a monthly giveaway. Just post a positive, uh, a positive affirmation or something that you are grateful for in the comment section below with a green heart to enter to win a free reading with me. Um, winners are announced on the first of the month on the community page. I can't find the hole. Um, if you're interested in booking a reading with me, checking out my tarot and oracle decks or checking out my tarot tutorial, all that info is below. What am I grateful for? I'm grateful for my cancer babies. I'm grateful for your love, support. Thank you for the super chats. I'm grateful for the positive comments. Um, I'm grateful for my puppies, my health, wealth, peace, prosperity, and abundance. All right, my loves. So let's get started here. We're going to start with a butterfly blessing. This is one of my decks. Spirit, what blessing is coming towards cancer, please? What blessing is coming towards cancer, please? What blessing is coming towards cancer, please? What blessing is coming towards cancer? So this blessing will come in February. The period of poverty, this period of poverty will bless you with humility, gratitude, work-life balance, greed, and ego. Okay, so cancer... There could be a period of poverty between now and February. It could be that the blessing is, is if you're going through a difficult time right now financially, the blessing in February may be that it ends in February. There's going to be a period of time where money may be tight and this could be uh, because you were focusing too much on material things. It could be because you were working too much and not having a work-life balance. Um, you know, it could have been ego, uh, you know, sitting on a high horse possibly. Um, there's definitely an energy here of spirit taking it away to teach some type of lesson. And then we also have a past love returns and leaving the past behind will bring blessings, closure, moving on and cycle completing. Okay. So cancer, if, um, I, I feel like you're releasing the past here, it could be that you're overworking or putting too much emphasis on material things and spirit wants you to stop doing that. So there's going to be a change there. Okay. Spirit, tell me about cancer, please. Tell me about cancer, please. Tell me about cancer, please. Sun, moon, rising, and Venus. Okay, so we've got summer here. We could be dealing with a Gemini, Cancer, or a Leo, possibly. We've got spite, and we've got observant. We've got spring. So maybe Pisces, Taurus, Gemini. We've got options. We've got codependent and career. Cancer, I don't think that this is about love. There could be, something may have started in the spring or summer of 2024, okay? Or it could be that you're dealing with a um, Aries, Taurus, Gemini, Cancer, or Leo that there's in, that's involved here, okay? I feel like with options here, this is multiple people. I feel like you could have up to three people here. It could be a man and two women, but it doesn't have to be. There's up to three people here that are watching you like a freaking hawk. These people are spiteful, bitter, scorned, vengeful. And I think that it has to do with the fact that something is happening here in the workplace. Ah, okay, I get it now. All right, so Cancer, you got this card where it says a period of poverty will bless you with humility and gratitude, work-life balance, greed, and ego. Cancer, there could have been a situation here where you were doing very well for yourself financially, or you got promoted in the workplace, or you were very praised in the workplace, and there could be either th three people here that either 
work with you or if you have your own business, it could be rivals, you know, people that are in the same, you know, field as you. Um, the, these people wanted to see you fail, basically. Okay, they wanted to see you fail. Um, these are codependent people. Now, codependent is interesting. For some of you, for some of you, Cancer, these could be people that wanted your help with something and like, all right, let me give you an example, okay? I'm going to give you an example. Now, uh, there's many different careers out, out there, so you take this as it resonates, okay? I'm a YouTuber, all right? I have had a very successful platform in my life, but I have had people that have asked me to help them to promote their channel. And I'm a-okay, two thumbs up, fine with doing that. But there has also been people that have wanted to take over my channel. There have been people that have wanted to um, uh, literally like, I don't like, you know what I'm saying? Like, I don't know, infiltrate themselves so much on my channel that basically my channel was giving them all the traffic on their channel. Does that make sense? Um, and I had to separate myself from that. And those people do well for themselves. It's not like, you know, that that's what I'm saying. They, you know, you can do this on your own. You don't need me to do it. But it was that pressure, that heaviness, that weight of like, you know, they were codependent on my channel to succeed on their own. Um, you know, so that's why now if you need my help with promoting your channel, I still do it. But I put boundaries up because if you don't put those boundaries up, people will kind of take over. Right. So, you know, you place that in your field of work, but it's almost like these people were were expecting you to take you them with you or they were expecting that because you were successful that you know uh that you were supposed to make them successful or put in a good word for them or uh I don't know something along those lines like that these people need someone else to give them a leg up these are people that don't want to put the work in themselves they want somebody to step on their face to get elevated higher you I feel put work sweat and tears into your business um because it says here motivated career driven my love life is important but right now my career comes first i am busy and tired you know so like for instance and i'll throw myself out there again as an example you know when i started my channel i worked so much that i would cry I mean, like, actually, I would sit outside, smoke a cigarette and cry because I was so tired. That's how much, <laughs> you know, I worked initially to build my channels, um, you know, on holidays when you guys were sitting there with your families having dinner. I was working Christmas. I would work Thanksgiving. I would work Easter. I would work weekends, seven days a week, 24 seven all day, every day for years. <laughs> you know, I put that love, sweat and tear that that uh, work, sweat and tears in. And I say love because I loved my I've always loved what I do for work. So even though I was tired mentally, physically, you know, and emotionally exhausted from it, I still loved what I did. But sometimes when I get other people that want to do what I do, when I give them the advice and I say, listen, I, I did this, I did that, I did, you know, this is what I did. You know, I didn't basically didn't have a life. It revolved around my business for the first few years, you know, and uh, people don't want to put in that blood, sweat and tears. You know what I'm saying? Uh, people wouldn't want to do that. So I feel like cancer, what you have here is you are at a certain level and, and you worked really hard to get to that level. And there could be anywhere from, you know, one to three people here that want to just swoop in and start where you are after you have done all that work. Okay. Um, that these are people that don't want to put the blood, sweat, and tears in. They don't want to put in that elbow grease. They don't want to put in the time in fixing their own lives, you know, getting licensed for things, opening their own business. They they don't want to put the, the blood, sweat, and tears into building themselves up. They want to uh, clout chase, I think it's called, or, or ride off of the tails of somebody else, okay? And again, this could be an Aries, Taurus, Gemini, 
um, Cancer or a Leo. And these people are watching you like a fucking hawk. They want revenge. They're bitter. They feel scorned because they don't have what you have. Um, they may feel like you could have helped them achieve more or that you could have helped them, but you didn't. But I, I feel like this the issue here is, Cancer, that these people wanted you to get like they wanted to like feed off of you they didn't want to do all the work that you did to get where you are they just wanted you to like i don't know maintain you know i don't know you know what i'm saying for let me give you an example of what this would look like maybe in a you know nine to five office setting okay here you are working a nine to five job let's just say you work overtime you would come in on the weekends when they needed you, okay? Uh, you know, you go above and beyond and do things that, you know, are not in your pay grade. And your boss says, okay, I want to make you a manager. I want I want to make you a manager. I, I, want, I want you to do these things, okay? And you, and you take the position and you're really happy and you're really proud proud of yourself, okay, that your blood, sweat, and tears have finally paid off, and you're a manager now, you're a CEO, you're a regional manager, or something like that, right? Now, you may have two or three, one to three co-workers that you were close with, and these people take days off of work, they come in late, they leave early, you know, they go in the bathroom and take a 25 minute shit. They, they, you know, they, they don't, they, they're not, they don't put the blood, sweat and tears in. Okay. But now that your manager, they're expecting you to give them raises or to promote them or to put in a good word for them to be a manager at a different location. And you're like, listen, I'm just, I'm not, I'm not going to do that. You, you haven't, you know, I have a job now, I have a responsibility, and I can't refer someone to be a manager that shows up late, you know, doesn't work five minutes extra, wants to leave early, has to take days off constantly, you know, disappears on smoke breaks every 20 minutes, or, you know, goes to the bathroom and takes 25 minute shits and goes to take a nap on the toilet, or, you know what I'm saying? Like, you're just like, I'm a manager now, and I don't want to put my name behind your name because you're not doing what you're supposed to be doing, and I don't want to have, you know, look bad because, you know, you just want to go be a manager, get paid more money, but not take the job seriously. Okay. So it's like, it's like you got elevated or you're at a certain status because you really worked for it. And these people were expecting you to just exalt them when they have done nothing to earn that. Okay. What big celebrity? Oh gosh. I want to say not Michael Jordan. What's the other one with the meme where he does the little shoulder shake? He was a basketball player. Oh, I can't think of the name. Hold on. He's like super huge. Ugh, I'm never going to think of the name. I, it's like on the tip of my tongue. Sha uh, Shaquille O'Neal. Sha I, I, I want to say it's Shaquille O'Neal. I think it is. It's one of the really big basketball players. And what he was saying was, you know, I'm worth X amount of dollars, but my kids don't just get spoiled. They have to work for it. If they go to college, if they do well in school, then they get rewarded. But I'm not just gonna dump all that fucking money in my kids' accounts, no. They have to work for it. They, they have to put in the blood, sweat, and tears that I put in so they understand the value of money. They, they don't, you know, they don't just have shit given to them. They're not entitled. They're not spoiled. Um, and I agreed with that, okay? I think Mila Kunis is another one where she said that she doesn't go all out on the holidays. Her kids get one or two gifts and that's it. You know what I'm saying? So it's an energy of, you know, I, I have worked for what I have and it's, I'm sure if like their kids got in trouble or something big happened, 
that, you know, obviously they would pay and do whatever they had to do. But my point here is, is, you know, showing that you have to work for what you have. And I think that cancer, you're, you're around people here where you had a certain, you had or have a certain level of success. And someone here is trying to attack you. Um, now this could be through rumors. It could be through magic. It could be through hatred and negative energy and jinxing and evil eye. And this could potentially be why your money is going down because it does say here, ego and greed. These people may feel like you're egotistical, like you're above them because you got a promotion or because you do better for them than them. Do you understand? They may feel like you're greedy because you're keeping all the success to yourself when that's not the case. It's just, you know, you have not, you know, put in that work. You haven't done the work. Do you understand what I'm saying? So, um, you know, it, it is, it is what it is. Do you understand what I'm saying? Like you have to really grind to get to that certain level. And you're like, I, I do feel like maybe you tried telling these people what to do to get to the place where you are and they didn't want to do it. They, they're codependent. They're clinging onto you, wanting what you have in the easiest way possible. Like this person wants to bypass, like they want to bypass everything and get to where you are you see you know you know that's not that's not okay that's just not right so cancer you've got a couple of haters here you've got people that are putting in real hate towards you um you know, I mean, if you know that these people mess with the metaphysical and the esoteric, it could be actual magic that's being done. It could be rumors that get or that are getting spread. This could be someone that literally sets you up. And I don't know, you know what I'm saying? Does something or spreads a lie on something or they frame you for something to, uh, you know, to pull you down. We've got travel here and we've got kissing ass. We've got thief, rob, loss, theft, physical or emotion. So these are people that see you moving forward in life with travel and they're trying to kiss you, your ass here, uh, you know, so that you help them. But ultimately what these people are trying to do is, is, is they're thieving. You know what I'm saying? Because they, how do I want to put it? They, they, they want to take the easy way. Do you understand what I'm saying? These people ain't shit. They want you to give them money or they want you to pay for things or they want you to give them raises or, you know, just they, they haven't worked for what they're asking for. And I feel like what we have here now is a spiritual hater hates on your spirituality, light, magic, and power. So yeah, I mean, these people could potentially be spiritual cancer that are putting an attack on your life, okay? We have obsessed lover here and marrying for money. Now, could this be romantic? Of course it could. Um, this could be a romantic situation where you're the breadwinner and your person hates you because you do better for them career-wise. You do better than them career-wise. Um, you do, uh, you know, you make more money than them and, you know, they don't want to put in the work. Like, you may tell this person, like, for instance, me, okay? Like, I'm, I'm a YouTuber. If I get with a man, and you know, they're jealous over the fact that I have a platform that I make money doing this and everything else. And I say, listen, I'll, I'll show you how to open up a, a YouTube channel, you know what I'm saying? But you got to make your own content. You got to do whatever. And instead of them putting the work into putting out that content, grinding, doing what they have to do, they rely solely on me to promote their channel and do all the things, right? So it's like, you know, so this could be love, it could be friend, it could be family member, but we have marrying here for money. So these are people that are only around you for what you can provide, whether it's a benefit, whether it's a perk, whether it's money, whatever. And, and then we've got obsessed lover here. So these people are dangerous, they're toxic, it's unhealthy. You know, they're karmic, they're possessive, they're clinging to your energy. These people are obsessed that you have something that they don't. We have here, they lost their chance and queen rising, stepping into power, praised, coming up and spotlight. So cancer, you're sitting here rising, you're stepping into your power 
not because, you know, uh, like it just smacked you in the, your blessings just smacked you in the face. No, you worked really hard and you gave spirit something to bless. And, you know, they, they lost their chances here because you gave these people opportunities to get better. Let's just say you got a promotion in your workspace and you've got two or three co-workers that want you to refer them for a raise or they, you, they want you to refer them to be a manager at a different location. And you say, listen, here's what we're going to do for the next three months. If you show up on time, if you stay until five o'clock and you don't take any days off, I will put in a recommendation and they don't do it. And they don't do it. They're still showing up 20 minutes late every day. They leave early. They're doing this. They're taking days off. They don't care. You know, so, and you're just like, okay, well, obviously this is not that important to you. Yeah. See, same shit, different day. So these people don't want to move in life. They want to continue to being the same person that they were yesterday. You're not interested in that cancer. You're sitting here in boss bitch energy. Okay. You're trying to run your own business or manage wherever you are. You're trying to move up. You're busy. You're multifaceted. You're, you're, uh, what's that called? Multitasking. You want stability in your life. And we've got happiness hater here. You have serious people that are wanting to attack your abundance, but you're sitting here too busy winning. Just be careful, Cancer, because these people are wolf in sheep's clothing. Be careful what you say around them. Be careful what you do around them because they are 100% trying to uh, trip you up. Okay. They're trying to trip you up. They will try to spread bad rumors about you. They will try to talk shit behind your back. They will lie, spread false information. Um, you know, and for some of you, they will actually practice magic. Okay. For others of you, I mean, there could be very real magic involved when it comes down to trying to tear you down. Okay. Spirit, tell me about cancer, please. Tell me about cancer, please. What does cancer need to know about this, please? We have 10 of wands in the reverse and we've got the six of pentacles. Cancer, I think that you are just dropping these people because you've got better shit to do with your time. You have reached a point in your life where you are not, you don't have the time or their energy to exude on people or situations that are not willing to put the work in because it's draining and you don't have the time for that. Okay. With the five of cups and the devil here, Cancer, I mean, these are people that, they may, you know, beg or plead or cling or uh, play victim. Like, you know what I'm saying? Oh, come on. Well, you know, I have kids. I have this. I have that. I can't. I can't for this reason, that reason. Like they're making a bunch of excuses like you give a shit. You're like, listen, I don't care about your excuses. You know, I am where I am. I, you know, I, I, it doesn't phase my life that you're not doing the right thing with your life. Do you understand what I'm saying? My back hurts. My left pinky is, is, is itchy. I can't, you know, do this. My ears a little clogged. You know, I, I, I woke up and you know, my eyebrow is, is, you know, the not feeling well, uh, you know, just stupid excuse. You're just like, listen, your excuses are what they are. You know, if that's the reason why you're not doing what you need to do, two thumbs up, fine by me. I am where I am because whether my left pin pinky was itchy or my back hurt or this hurt or my knee was aching, my head was hurting, I had a cold, I had the flu, I still showed up and I showed out. Okay. Uh, you know, me, for instance, I have TMJ pain. I cannot tell you how many readings I have done with severe migraines, my face killing me. I cannot tell you how many readings that I have done where my voice gives out because I'm talking for hours a day, seven days a week. I cannot tell you how lethargic I am some days after I'm done reading. Um, I think it was Blue Rose Tarot that I just recently heard her say, you know, I do my personal readings and by the time I'm doing personal readings, I am so exhausted. You know, doing readings to put out on YouTube, I'm so exhausted. And I can't tell you how many times I've had to push myself to do six personal readings in the morning, okay? And then post all my content for YouTube for four channels. 
You see what I'm saying? So, I mean, you're talking, if I wake up and I've got six emergency readings in the morning, Cancer, that is six readings, okay? Anywhere from 10 to 15 minutes long. And then I have to post one for Tarot of Light. I have to post one, two for Cancer Baby Tarot. And then when I'm doing Leo and Virgo, I mean, that's a lot of readings for one person. I cannot tell you how lethargic I am by the end of the day, you know? So, but it's like, these people just want to be where you are without putting in that level of work, okay? And and they're playing victim. Like, I can't do what you're doing because my head, my hair, my neck, my back, my ass, my foot. And you're just like, okay, you have those excuses. That is fine. But, you know, listen, I it doesn't phase my life. You know, it doesn't phase my life. You're the one who has to reap what you sow, right? And they hate that with the devil card here. They, they hate that. Cancer, this is going to call for some form of spiritual protection on your part, okay? Because whether this is a spiritual attack or whether with the High Priestess and the Queen of Swords, this is people talking behind your back, okay? Um, there is definitely something that is trying to take place here to affect your finances or affect your position in life, okay? With the moon card and the nine of swords, Cancer, some of you may have premonitions about this. You may have nightmares, but you don't know who is trying to attack you. You don't understand why they're trying to attack you because realistically, you have not wished ill will on anybody. With the death card and the empress here, though, it's all because you are you have transformed your life. You're sitting in Empress energy. You either have a higher position or you have your own business or you got a promotion. Um, your life has changed and transformed in some way, shape or form. But let's keep in mind, Cancer, the Empress is pregnant, okay? And she gives birth to new life. Pregnancy fucking hurts. It's painful. It's a painful process to bring new life or, or something new into the world. And Cancer, you have done it. You know, you have put in that pain, that blood, that sweat, that tears. You know, some of you are single parents with children and you've managed to put yourself through school. You've graduated. You've, you've done all the things and now you got a good job or you opened up your own practice or your own business and you've got friends that are like, yo, get me a job there or yo, hire me and I'll do the shit and without being licensed and you can pay me the same amount that, you know, someone that, you know, for that, you know, needs a license, right? You know what I'm saying? You just graduated to be a dentist. You just opened up your own practice and now you got a friend that doesn't want to go to dentist school. They don't want to do, you know, the, the, what's the helper for the dent, a dental apprentice or something, the, the dental people, dental assistant, right? I'm not going to go to school for it, but I'm your bestie. And I won't tell nobody. Just let me work there. Show me what to do and just pay me the same amount as someone that did four years of college. Like, come on, you know what I'm saying? It's crazy. It's crazy. And, and you're like, listen, no, I have, I worked really hard to open up this dental practice and you need to be licensed for that. And I'm not going to lose my whole practice and my license and everything to give you a job that you don't want to, if you want to go to school and get, you know, certified or whatever to, to work in my dentist place, that's fine. But it's like what these people are expecting, Cancer, is for you to lose your license, lose your practice, to make you look bad as a manager just to benefit them and their life. And that's why they hate you. That's why they hate you, you know? Um, you know, just like, you know, me as a YouTuber, like I said, you know, I have people that I help, you know, I put up boundaries. Some people may be okay with that. Some people may not, you know, or the people that I did, you know, I had to learn my lessons where I went above and beyond with helping me people to the point where, you know, it devastated me. It, you know, first the betrayal from the person and second, like, you know, just, just the whole thing, right? It, you know, it, it devastated me. It devastated my business. I've had spiritual attacks put on me. I've had, you know, uh, just, you know, I've dealt with it. You know what I'm saying? I have, I've dealt with it. And, you know, people will attack you for nothing. They will attack you for nothing. They will. And, and I feel like cancer, there is a sense here of you having no clue, 
you know, what, that people are saying things behind your back or that people are trying to attack you. Because at the end of the day, it's not like you're not willing to help people, but you're just sitting in an energy of, hey, you know, do the right thing. This is what I did, you know, and I will help you along as you do that. As you do the right thing, I will help you along. But you ultimately have to put the work in and that's not good enough for these people. You know, let's go back to that dentist example. Oh man, I'm not going to get certified to be a dental assistant, bro. Just let me help you. Show me what to do. You know, pay me my $20 an hour and we're good, man. I'm not going to tell nobody that, you know, uh, I'm working for you without a license or a certification. And you're like, I am not going to risk my license, my practice, get sued because you're not certified. So that is what you're asking me to do. How are you even a friend to me if you're asking me to do that? You know, so it's like, it's just craziness. And you'd be surprised the shit that people come up with cancer. I'm not going to mention names, but I had one person that I helped tremendously. Okay. I mean, we're talking like somebody that got 17 views a video. Okay. 17. All right. And I helped this person tremendously to the point that they were getting thousands of views on their video. This person came forward, called me a derogatory name because what this person's goal was, was to get me out of the picture and take over all of my subscribers. Okay. I mean, you would be surprised the shit that people do. You would be surprised the shit that people do. So cancer, I mean, this is an energy of somebody that may be putting rumors out in the workplace to try to exalt themselves, make themselves look special and make you look like horrible. Um, you know, there is a need to protect yourself here. There is a need to protect yourself here. If you have people around you that have asked for your help and you have told them, listen, I can only help you so much. At the end of the day, you need to step up to the plate and help yourself. Those people hate you because they're codependent. They don't want to do things on their own. They don't want to put the work in for themselves. They want other people to do it for them. They want other people to do it for them. How is this going to affect cancer? Are these people going to win? Are these people going to affect cancer's life in any way, shape, or form? So we've got the hanged man. We've got the two of wands. We've got the sun card. We've got the seven of cups with the five of pentacles. The world card. The three of swords. The five of wands. Seven of Pentacles with the uh, Queen of Wands, the Hierophant, and the Three of Pentacles. Okay, so here's what's going to happen. And the Ace of Wands with the Magician and the Chariot and the Four of Swords. Okay, so here's what's going to happen. Are things going to start to go downhill for you for a minute? Yes. I'm going to keep it real with you. Yes. And you know why? Because... You don't know what's happening to you just yet. You know, you're so busy winning at life and doing your thing. Your focus is elsewhere. Okay. Your, your focus is elsewhere. It's just like if you run your own business and you're busy and you think that you have someone running the front desk that you can trust. And meanwhile, this person is taking money, taking money, taking money. You might not notice it immediately, but you know, when you do your quarterly taxes or your quarter, whatever, th then you're going to see it, but you're going to see it in a big amount right? You're not going to see the $40 that was taken on a daily basis. You might not see the 60 or the 20 or the 10 that was taken, but there will come a point, you know, maybe every three months when you sit down and, and run the numbers where, where you will say, holy shit, there's $6,000 missing. You know, like you don't realize it until the problem is huge, right? And that's what I think that's going to happen here, Cancer. You know, um, you may tell yourself, oh, well, that's weird. Well, that doesn't seem right. Well, you know, okay, maybe things will get better. Like, you know, it, it's a little like confusion here. Like what the hell is going on, right? You know, um, because you're so, you know, you're happy. You're, you've done the right thing in life. You don't see any reason for things to go left or for things to go wrong. And out, out of nowhere with the five of pentacles and the seven of cups, you start to realize that, you know, maybe something happened and you lost your job or money's not coming in or you don't have money to pay for this or that. It's almost like what the fuck just happened? 
right? What just happened? Now, here's the problem though, Cancer. With the Sun card, you're going to wake up to it. You may not wake up to it until the problem is big, but you will wake up to it and you will realize that people are talking shit behind your back or that there's a, a spiritual attack on you. You will wake up to it. Now, here's where things get better because as soon as you wake up to the problem, it's over for these bitches. It is these people that are jealous, fighting, competition here, and it could be anywhere from three to five people. Okay, anywhere from one to five people. It is over for them. It is over for them, okay? Whatever time, energy that these people have invested in trying to attack your life, they, with the three of swords here, are gonna have to pay for that. They will experience some type of karma for what they're doing. Whereas you, if these people cause you to lose your job, you're moving on to something way better. Or if these people have caused some type of, like if you work in sales or you know if money has gone down, your business is gonna start to be fire again. Three of pentacles, things working along smoothly. The hierophant could be be, you know, God spirit shining down on you. This could be you calling in your spiritual guides or gods to come in and protect you. Things are going to start to stabilize ultimately with the Hierophant. Okay. This is you resting, relaxing, recovering from what just happened. And with the magician and the chariot, you know, it, whether you got to start from the bottom up again, or just kind of, you know, you know what you need to do to manifest and to make things better again and you'll do it. But these people are going to face some form of serious karma, okay? They will be facing some type of uh, serious karma here. What kind of karma do we see these jealous people facing? What kind of karma do we see these jealous people facing? We have spiritually uh, uh, possessed an obsession here. So Cancer, I feel like whatever negative energy these people sent to you, they are now having to sit with those demons and their obsession over you and your your success is just going to like chew at this person, like eat away at this person. Because even though... Um, even though they felt good watching you lose your job or watching you, uh, you know, suffer in some way, shape or form. Okay. Um, you're back on top. You see what I'm saying? You're back on top. You're back on your game and that's going to make them crazy. It's, it's going to drive them crazy. Um, the loss of teeth here. Someone here could be losing teeth. This person cursed themselves. They may have put a curse on you and it's reverting back to them. Or they may feel like they're cursed. This person feels like you double cross them. Okay. They feel like you double cross them. Like you betrayed them in some way, shape or form that they wasted their time kissing your ass because they got nothing out of it. And, and on top of that, they decided to hurt you in some way, shape, or form. And by doing this, they curse themselves. We've got financial devastation here. And then we've got catfished. Now, what I'm getting from catfished could potentially be like a scammer thing where um, these people take an opportunity that looks like it'll make them money. They invest in something, a pyramid scheme or something like that, which causes them financial devastation. Or it could be like maybe someone here buys a house and it looks like everything is going to be okay. And then after they sign that paperwork, the whole house falls apart or a car that may happen when they buy a lemon, you know, catfish, it's like, it looks good from the outside, but you know, when you, when you get into it, it you know, it's bad, right? Financial devastation. We have a week of hell moderate injury. So someone here, they may hurt themselves and have a really bad, um, weak because of that. We've got bad breath forever and grave illness. So someone's teeth could be rotting out because we've got loss of teeth and bad breath forever. So someone's teeth could start falling out or rotting 
For some of them, they could have a grave illness like cancer or something like that, okay? This person may have a moderate injury where they go to the hospital for something and they end up having the worst week of their life because that one injury may be the catalyst of them finding out that they've got a grave illness. You know what I'm saying? Like something serious. Something may be caught when they go to the hospital for that. Okay. All right, guys. Well, that's what I got for you. I love you all so very much and I will see you guys soon. Take care, my darlings.